Destiny Taking King Suros Regime in Depth Review. Anyway, the Suros Regime is one of the best auto rifles in the Crucible. It can be outgunned quite often, but I'd say if you know the right thing to do with this gun, where to use it, so on and so forth, so forth, then it can be pretty good. Like in scout rifle range, it's not half bad. But when going up, like not like the others. Hmm, it won't be that easy. I'd say the best companion for this thing is a shotty, um, shotgun, uh, because it can cover up the close quarter traces if you uh, end up using the focused fire. Uh, this is where the gun gets a little bit cooler, because you also have spinning it up, which is another perk it has other than focused fire. Spinning it up the longer you hold the trigger, it fires faster. So it basically, it, uh, it, it, like if you hold it long enough, it'll turn into a mid rate of fire instead of a low rate of fire. While focus fire takes down the rate of fire, but ramps up the damage. It, so it, it then appears like uh, just an automatic scout rifle. Uh, but then comes the exotic, exotic perk, Zero's uh, Legacy. The half bottom of each mag, aka the last five rounds of the mag, <laughs> uh, deals bonus damage and chan has a chance to return health on, on a kill. Uh, which is kind of sketchy, but hey, if you do, hey, it's a lifesaver. And then you have a uh, hammer forged. You have uh, lightweight. I'd say hammer forged is a better pick. And uh, but anyway, let's get on to the stats of this particular weapon. Anyway, uh, it's a uh, kinetic damage like all the exotics from Taken King are not elemental. And, uh, I mean, primary exotics, I should say. Uh, rate of fire is 77, impact is 28, range is 28, stability is 46, reload is uh, 65, the magazine is 33, secondary stats. 40 on the aim assist equip speed 30 recoil direction which is not measured in uh, protractor degrees it's 80 and I mean it's not measured in that stuff and um, zoom is always like everything with the red dot sight is 15 the minimum max values mostly change on the impact from uh, the focus fire and the ballistics uh, the range changes because of the ballistics and also with focused fire and uh, stability same thing um, the aim assist it goes from 30 to 40 and basically all the same and uh, yeah this thing is infusible obviously uh, but one thing uh, I'll tell you that it actually has a few tricks up its sleeve when it comes to you actually wanting to master it okay uh, there's two uh, two things to do when you're using focused fire. You can uh, uh, like you can still use the old tap fire me uh, method, which made the Suros regime year one version totally overpowered back then, I should say. But now it's balanced. Uh, but you can still use the tap fire method to just get the stability a little bit higher on the gun because some times you just can't really get used to it um, but anyway then also you have uh, uh, another little trick which is used with focused fire you aim down sight and fire at the same time you do a little bit of a glitch I think it might have already been like patched I'm not sure but I think if, if you can land it right you can have like the regular fire rate but with the damage of the focused fire which is crazy uh, but okay then with uh, spinning it up well you just gotta hold the trigger <laughs> you know, hold the trigger and aim at the head that's all you have to do with spinning it up and uh, yeah yeah and the rate of fire gets a lot faster every single time you, you know, hold the trigger <sighs> Yeah, I'd say for PVE, uh, this is good for uh, both of its uh, alternative like perks. 
uh, like focused fire when you're in PvE can just sit back and use it like an automatic scout rifle. Uh, or if you you can use spinning it up and take out a wide horde with only one magazine with spinning it up. Um, uh, also, that uh, the damage of the Suros Legacy uh, bullets in the magazine is not that high, but at least it regenerates your health after you get a kill. Um, and uh, when it it's kind of a little bit of written wrong on the perk, but it's actually just the five rounds on the bottom of the magazine. You get a kill with those, boom, you have a chance to regenerate health. Now, one problem here. it For some reason, most of the time, it, it's either uh, people getting flanked by me, and or uh, them not using the right gun at the right range, or... And stuff like that, but if they go ahead and use like a shotgun in my face or uh, a hand cannon in medium range or sniper uh, or even just flank with a shotgun, I'll be melted. Uh, this gun can be outgunned pretty easily, but uh, uh, you can actually get away with it and actually end up with some pretty cool kills. <sighs> The color scheme is pretty cool. It kind of looks like the whole shader thing going on with, like the Monte, uh, the Iron Iron Banner Monte Carlo from the thing, but and also kind of like the Iron Yellowhorn, uh, just because the looks, all right, the looks are cool, the perks are okay. It's a okay gun. I like it. Anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video.